I wasn't always president. Oh, no. I had many jobs when I lived here in New Salem. My, fav my favorite job was splitting rails, which is why they called me Rail Splitter. Ah. Uh, Anybody know, anybody know any of my other nicknames? Honest Abe. Yes, obviously, Honest Abe. That was the big one, Honest Abe. They always called me that because I said what was on my mind, even if it made me unpopular. Remember, a great man always has the courage to say what is in his heart. Yeah. I love Chase Rubin Rossi. Great. Who would like to see Mary Todd churn butter? Churn butter. I love you, Chase. I want to yell it from the mountaintops. And even though you pretty much stopped talking to me in fifth grade, I don't care. I remember the Chase that wrote me a card when my dad was overweight and had to go to the hospital because of his heart. And a year later, when he left my mom and moved in with his trainer, you wrote me another card. What happened to us? Remember, in the second grade, when we had a sleepover, and you wet the bed, and, and you were so embarrassed, and you made me promise never to tell anyone? Well, I never have, and I never will. So there it is. My heart on a sleeve. Don't let me leave. Oh, no, please don't. Always. Believe. Oh. Gross. <laughs> Loser! <laughs> hey, all right, guys, come on, settle down. Okay, let, let's see how Mary Todd's doing with that butter. Okay, that's enough. We get it, you're crying. She just laughed at me and called me gross. Well, yeah, did you hear your speech? Come on, let's go back. No, no, I'm not going back. Come on. Just, just leave me alone. We done running? Uh, everything okay in here? It's okay. I miss teacher. Oh, okay. Take your time. She's never gonna like me, is she? Are we still on this? She's my everything. Okay, here's the deal, man. I cannot keep sugarcoating this for you. This girl is never going to be interested in you. Never. You clearly have a rich interior life with the poems and the whatever, but she wants a guy like Ian, what's his face? Ian Mendelbaum, the rapper? He's an idiot. Yeah, he's a fucking moron, but she doesn't care. She's superficial and her priorities are all fucked up. She likes him because he's hot and popular, dude. You are sensitive. Yes, thank you. It's not a compliment. Oh. You have some rough road ahead of you. Seventh grade is not your moment. Yeah, eighth grade will be better. Probably not. Thinking college, that's your window. Be ready. Oh, if I go back out there, everyone's going to laugh at me. Maybe this will help. What are you doing? I'm giving you a gift. Whoa. We are going to change the news cycle. Trust me on this. I thought it would be heavier. Don't be weird. And take this off. Never fucking wear it again. What are you, crazy? Everything OK with Garrett? No, it's not. I found him hooking up with an eighth grader from another school. She was jerking him off. Yeah, I'm gonna give him detention when we get back. That's probably a good idea. Yeah. Garrett probably met out with a kid from an all boys school. <laughs> yeah, and he was wearing this. What? what? Mm. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's real. It's <laughs> a nice thing you did. I don't know what you're talking about. Really? Because I couldn't help but notice that you're not wearing a bra. 
And those, uh, those kids over there are playing with one. Lots of people don't wear bras. Definitely. Lots of teachers. Well, if you must know, I was helping a student through a tough time. I'm going through such a tough time. Can I have your panties? I'm not wearing any. Amy, what are you doing here? Stop. Talk to the hand. Amy. I know. Everything. Carl Halabi, the state test, the blatant disregard for the school syllabus, and let's not forget the sleeping with my boyfriend. Scott, your phone accidentally called me last night. I can't believe you'd let her take advantage of you like that. You are too trusting. I am. I didn't know what was happening. I hope you haven't spent that bonus check or anything because you're about to give it back and then some. Jail time. Jail time. Did you ever think that maybe... Save it, doll face. You can explain it all tomorrow to the principal and the superintendent when you got your meeting with the principal and the superintendent tomorrow at the meeting. Tomorrow. <laughs>